Got to get it, Papa. Oh, hi. Um, welcome to Look Dat. And um, today's uh, episode of Look Dat is, is a little bit different. And it's going to be slightly more informative than some of the other ones. Maybe. But um, today, we're going to have a little bit of Look Dat history. You know, so don't get scared. Don't turn it off yet. Don't turn it off. So anyway, oh, I gotta get ready. Whoa. Okay, now I can relax a little bit in my chair. And uh, yeah, today, uh, a little bit of history, a little bit of information about what's going on with Luke Dat. Uh, if you didn't know, actually no, I don't think anybody knows, um, one big development that's happened with Look Dat is that now Look Bat, Look Bat, no, that that's different. Look Dat is now on Facebook, and uh, <laughs> nobody knows it. <laughs> so uh, it's it's a kind of an experiment. We gotta see what happens with Look Dat on Facebook, and there's a reason why it's uh, gonna have a little a little ting on Facebook. Um, but it's actually on Facebook, first of all, it's not called Look Dat. Couldn't do that. Uh, it's called the, it's called Look Dat Channel. Which is very easy to remember, right? Look Dat Channel. When you go to Facebook, you punch in Look Dat Channel and maybe you can find it. When you go to Look Dat Channel, you're gonna see the little Look Dat logo, the little round thing. And then you're gonna see the uh, the videotape, like at the beginning of each uh, episode and all that. Then you know you're on the right place, okay? If it shows anything else, body parts or anything like that, you uh, 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 that ain't it. That's not the look that page, look that channel page. But uh, you gotta find the look that page. Okay, so um, the problem is, and I'm sure some people out there have the same problem. Uh, the Look That channel has no friends. Uh, anyway, um, I had a, a moment there. Uh, but yeah, Look That channel has no friends. So, okay, now here's the whole thing. Why are you putting it on, putting Look That on a Facebook page? You already got this YouTube thing. Uh, with the su su subscribe button somewhere and all that why you need a Facebook page Well, there's a good reason for that and that's where we're gonna go uh, Explain today It's a little bit of look that history and lore and you know like all the superhero movies They always have the origin story or oh, the origin, you know Batman always Mom and daddy got killed by the Joker and you know, oh Superman he flew down he crash landed in his uh, In his crystal bomb thing and, and he, he became a human and all and all those all those origin stories Here's the origin story of look that so settle in put your uh, thinking hat on and uh, Get ready for some good information and you also see the connection to to uh, the Facebook page I think so let's get let's get out something old anybody recognize this anybody ever have one of these around their house somewhere it's a photo album you put photographs in it photographs say it photographs say it with me photographs Say it again. That's not how you say it, but that's okay. This is a photo album. And this 
is the origin, holds the origin of look that. Um, and actually there's even more than this. There's a book, I got a book somewhere and I can't find it. But I'll lean over and I, if I can find a picture, I'm gonna put it right here, this book. The, the look that and a lot of other YouTube uh, vlog pages, whatever you call channels, um, have a very similar origin there, connections. And um, a lot of the connections are from this book right here. Uh, if, you, if you can ask some of those people that started some of those channels, those other channels that have been around for years, 10 years, something like that, they'll, they'll say they had a, found a copy of this at the library or they found it at the bookstore or something. And um, yeah, it's called Roadside America. That is what started a lot of this stuff. Now, okay, the Look That channel is not even a year old yet. So, it's like, okay, what does that book have to do with it? And these people who've been doing this for 10 years kind of got to jump on you, you know? Well, okay, calm down. Um, anyway, Look That, the origin goes way back 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 in the time machine all the way back to the 1980s and uh, what happened in the 1980s well this book came out I got my own personal copy that I can't find right now sometime in the around 1986 or 87 something like that I found that and I bought that and Roadside America is hilarious. If you see a copy of it, get on Amazon. I think you can still get it. It's probably been updated a few times since then. Uh, but it's all about traveling and roadside attractions and amusement parks. All this is going to sound familiar to people who watch these kind of channels and stuff. Um, especially weird stuff like the world's largest ball of twine and all that kind of stuff in roadside america it it's there uh route 66 stuff all that kind of stuff here's what happened i was in school not uh, not a special school i was in um in a uh, university school i was in college and um uh, me and my roommate well I, I bought that book uh one day and i was looking through it and it was hilarious and I'd be sitting there reading, laughing out loud, and my roommate was like, what, what's, what's wrong with you? You okay? And I was like, no, it's this book. It's like, look at this stuff. It's hilarious. And I started showing him, you know, stuff in the book. Well, he borrowed it and looked through it, and he, you know, it's, it's hilarious stuff. So, we planned a road trip. This was pre-internet, pre-email, pre-fax. Uh, no, I think they had fax machines back then a thermal fax paper uh, per, But but no cell phones no 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 cell phones no lights no motor cars not a single luxury back in those days in the 1980s This was ancient times you see and um, So anyway, so I had that book and we were looking and I was like man We need to make a road trip. You know what this could be fun let's do a road trip based on this book see uh, it was we're in louisiana we're gonna go to arkansas that was big time we're going up to arkansas so we had to get a map of arkansas got the map and opened the book up and started looking through it and it's like man this place looks pretty good you know put it you know make a list made a list of all these different places plus i remembered some things I remembered some things from when I was a kid. We made a family trip in the 1970s. <laughs> I tell you, we're talking ancient times. We had like a Flintstone car. We pedal it with our feet and all. And when I was a kid in the 70s, we made a family road trip through Arkansas. 
and we hit all the big ones. We hit Hot Springs, we hit uh, Little Rock, and almost got flooded out because it was a big torrential downpour weather event thing that flooded everything. Anyway, but uh, Hot Springs had a bunch of cool stuff in it. Even back then, it, it, and a lot of stuff is still there. That's what's amazing. Um, but, but, one of the big things we went and saw was Dog Patch USA. What? <laughs> Everybody's saying, what? Well, I don't know if it's in the, whatever the newest version of that book is, the Roadside America book. I don't know if it's in there, but it's in the old one. Plus, I had my personal experience of visiting there when I was a kid. I remembered it. Dog Patch USA, what is that all about? Well, you gotta go way back in time. Woo! Yo, we were warping back in time further and further. We, it was the 80s, this is the 70s. Now it goes back, I don't remember what year they got it started, but Dog Patch USA is all related to the comic strip, not comic book. I don't even know if they ever made books out of them. They made a comic strip called Lil Abner. Lil Abner. And he lived in Dog Patch. And with all his friends and all that. And they had adventures and it was comical in the in the funny pages and all. And Lil Abner uh, was kind of, they, they, they were, well, they, hillbillies, you know, for lack of a better term. They were pretty much hillbilly country. Dog Patch was kind of hillbilly country. And they drank stuff like Kickapoo Jar Juice, which you can find. Somebody's making Kickapoo Joy juice. Look it up. Say it with me. Kick a poo. Joy juice. <laughs> Say it again. I'll sit back and take a nap. That's from Little Abner. That's connected to Dog Patch USA, which used to be. I'll explain. Used to be in Arkansas on Scenic Highway 7, which is west passes west of it goes north and south pass it it's on the west side of uh of little rock it's not close to little rise so pretty good ways away but it goes north and south scenic highway seven and there used to be a bunch of stuff because you what we did when i was a kid i remember doing we went to hot springs and then we drove up scenic highway seven went to dog patch for a day and uh then we some kind of way we we went around we ended up in uh little rock you know i think that was about our route back then but also on scenic highway seven just a little bit north of uh dog patch is i think it's mammoth caverns or something like that there's a cave it's a little ways up that you can tour if it's open it hadn't been open for a while i think it got to COVID, so they uh, they they put a big mask on the on the entrance of the cave, and uh, you can't go in there right now. One day, I don't know, it may open up again. And uh, anyway, so let's move forward again. Now we're back in the 1980s, 1988 to be precise. And I got my Roadside America book, and I got a map, and I made a list. And me and my roommate said, look, this summer we're going to Arkansas. This is going to be the big road trip. And so it was. We got in a car and drove for hours and hours and hours to get up to Arkansas. But first we went to Hot Springs. And they, it was like, man, I've been, I know this place. It's like, <laughs> even though I hadn't been there in years, it's like, it, it hadn't changed much. And um, one day I might try to go back there on, on look that so we can see some new hot spring stuff. So we did some things in hot springs and we went up the road. Do, oh, scenic highway seven. Do, 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 do. You know, and it's like, yeehaw, look, there's dog patch over there. Yeehaw, ooh, dog patch USA. And, uh, <laughs> and dog patch was kind of cool because it was way in the hills. It's in the middle of nowhere. Um, on scenic highway seven and you to get there you go and you there was a place to park and you had to ride a little uh ski lift thing that went down to, to the the town a dog patch and uh now i'm going to make a connection for you between looked at 
and the face plant, uh, Facebook page uh, looked at channel, okay? Because this was in 1988, I didn't have a video camera. I barely had a, a snappy snap camera, uh, Instamatic or whatever it was. You know, I had that kind of a camera. That was all we had. This is pre-video, pre-internet, pre-YouTube, uh, pre-all pre that, everything. Uh, no camera, no, people didn't carry around a phone and take pictures all day. None of that. They didn't even know what selfies were back then. So, that's where this comes in. This is a very old photo album. And I scraped about this much dust off of it. And there they are. There's some pictures from Dog Patch USA and one of my personal favorite stops that is also, as far as I know, I don't know if there's anything left to it, uh, but we found another place that was listed in the, um, the book, uh, Roadside America book. Booger Hollow, Arkansas. Been to Booger Hollow. Hang on just a minute. And here it is. The proof is on my head. See? Booger Hollow. Yeah, you impressed now. I know where you are. I know you are. <laughs> yep, this is a souvenir from Booger Hollow, Arkansas. The place, as far as I know, doesn't even exist anymore. I think part of it might. Yeah, I think somebody lived near there or something. But it was just, it was a little place. And uh, I got some pictures from it. Let me reach back into the library. Watch out for my thinking cap. And uh, I'll, I'll trot down memory lane for you uh, with, with my giant uh, picture book, picture album here. Let's see, I gotta find it. I got some blank pages in here too. I don't know why. Oh, there they are. Okay, hang on. Yep. Yeah, Booger Hollow. And I'll flash these pictures. But, okay. Let me, before I go any further. See, I got my photo album. And you can see the photos in it. Right there. Okay. These are from 1988. I'm going to put a folder on the Facebook plant up uh, on the Facebook page of uh, this trip 1988 and I'm it, I'll have pictures from Booger Hollow actually I think Booger Hollow might have been before uh, dog patch I don't remember where they were geographically but they're all on scenic highway 7 but um, yeah 1988 went to Booger Hollow Arkansas and uh, they have some, like all these things, they have signs along the way. You know, Booger Hollow coming up and all that stuff. Booger Hollow, it was a trading post, basically. Booger Hollow trading post. There actually is a place, if you try to look it up, it gets confusing. Because there is a physical place somewhere else, not too far away, called Booger Hollow. <laughs> and it's not on the scenic Highway 7. This was, it's right off the road. And uh, the site of it was... And I think it still shows up on a map if you look and it has a little note, you know, extinct attraction or something. Anyway, um, the the other Booger Hollow, it, it was a, a real place where people lived or something. It was like a hollow is kind of like a little place between some mountains where a stream runs through and somebody might settle there. And I guess it was Mr. Booger or something that, that settled there. But um, anyway... Uh, so here, here's some pictures. Uh, there's like the sign going in. Uh, one of the key features and attractions of Booger Hollow, which I think might still be standing in some form from what I've heard, is they had a double-decker outhouse. And uh, enjoy the picture there. I'm kind of, I'll show it up close a little bit. Uh, beautiful scenery, considering it's a double-decker outhouse. And, um, yeah, anyway, but the, the other part was, uh, the trading post and you could get stuff like this and a real live corn cob pipe that I haven't tried yet. It's, uh, from 1988. So I don't know. It might be too brittle. It might just 
explode or something in my face if I try to light that. But um, good typical hillbilly uh, souvenirs you could get there. A lot of that stuff you probably can't even get anymore. We don't make that. Ew, people get out of, you know, uh, yeah, whatever. I got my booger hollow hat. So there. Um, but they also had a cafe type thing attached to it. So it was a real one-stop shop roadside attraction on scenic highway seven where there was nothing else for miles. There was no stores. There were no convenience stores, anything like that. Uh, just booger hollow trading post. So you could stop there. You could shop, do get all your finery. You could use the double decker outhouse if you needed to, you could, uh, you get something to eat and then you could use the outhouse again before you left. But here's the, here's the thing. And I got my pictures. I got a, I took a, a close up picture of the menu and, um, I actually did enjoy that day. I went all out and spent $2 and 20 cents on a booger burger basket. <laughs> and man, you talk about a burger. No, it was, it was actually good. It was uh, tasty and delicious. And um, my roommate, he got a uh, same kind of thing. I think he got a booger burger basket too, because it came with French fries and all that. So you well set. Uh, you know, they even had a baby booger burger. So, you know, you people have all have their own conception of fine dining, but booger burgers and uh, baby booger booger burgers <laughs> are uh, something something to be dreamed about now because you can't get them anymore okay now the next pictures we get to are uh around um dog patch dog patch usa and i'll see what order i'm showing them in uh but dog patch it's like it was it was based on a cartoon so the stuff they had was kind of cartoony looking the houses and the buildings they it was like a reconstruction of the town of dog patch so they had houses, they had the general store and all that kind of stuff. And all the buildings were kind of half fallen down, you know, log cabin looking buildings and the roofs would sag in the middle and all this stuff. And it was built like that. It was really cool, really well done, well themed. And I don't think I have a picture of it, but they had the coolest trash cans ever. In Dog Patch, they had trash cans that had like a big see one of the things in uh, arkansas is the razorback what's the razorback okay the razorback is a wild pig basically that runs around in the woods and stuff they're dangerous they got big fangs and stuff they not too pretty but for dog patch they had these trash cans and they had a big head on top of them and with his mouth open and you go up there and with your trash and you put it by his mouth and it go and it sucked the trash into it. It was like a vacuum thing. And so you'd feed the Razorbacks as you, you know, finished your food, you'd feed your trash to them. Like any good attraction, they had uh, characters that you could do meet and greet with. So I got to meet Lil Abner, his girlfriend, Daisy May. I'm pretty sure that was her name. Daisy May. They had Pappy and Mammy, I think was her name the 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 grandpa and the grandma and they had all kind of stuff they had a uh, little roller coasters they had canoe rides they had all kind of stuff all in this little valley with the town in it and it was really really cool it was really well done and uh remnants of it are still there i, I don't know if it's even public anymore for a while i think it was a campground or something and then i don't know what happened um one day uh, who knows i don't know if any of the buildings are still left i think the big building where you went and got on the, the ski lift thing to go down i think that either got torn down or burned or something uh, i don't know now you've caught a glimpse of dog patch from someone who lived through it <laughs> i'm a survivor we finished up at a, at a dog patch in the booger hollow kept going north get to the vicinity of eureka springs arkansas which is another tourist mecca and even back in 1988 it was a pretty hot place um and they had references of it in the roadside america book and uh we only had so much time so we had to be very choosy so we chose the land 
of Kong. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Wait. I'm done with Booger Hollow. I like my Booger Hollow hat, but I gotta put my thinking cap on so I can remember some of this. Put Booger Hollow right there. So you can continue to admire the the feather and uh and the, the stapled on patch. Did y'all notice that? It's got a patch on it. <laughs> it's actually stapled. It uh it's a uh, genuine creativity there. But uh a la 1988. Anyway, so we went to the land of Kong. The land of Kong is a legendary uh site and I'm not sure if that's still there. It was, they were kind of hitting some bumps in the 88 when I passed by, or when we passed by. Um, but it was this huge dinosaur park where you could drive your car around and you'd see dinosaurs. You know, this is 1988. This ain't no Jurassic Park. They didn't, they went even went to, I, that wasn't even an idea yet. You know, this is the land of Kong. It had life-size dinosaurs, life-size cavemen, and a Volkswagen bus <laughs> that I don't think was running at the time. It was kind of, I don't know. You drive around the, the, the property and you got to see the life-size concrete dinosaurs and stuff. And um, I'll flip through some pictures kind of quick. Uh, yeah, here's the, the, the land, I call it the land of Kongmobile. It was the Volkswagen bus that they would ride around in and advertise. They did have the uh, the life-size concrete uh, cavemen in different varieties, different places, including one with uh, standby his pickup truck. It looked like uh, ready to go somewhere, ready to go to town, get some groceries or something. Oh, and um, they did have a life-size giant King Kong, like doing like this and he had a, a he had uh fay ray i guess it w it was in his hand he was shaking her around and stuff he didn't actually move it just you can imagine what it was it was it was terrifying giant life-size king kong in the middle of uh the woods in arkansas <laughs> they they had um they they did the best they had uh signs for the different dinosaurs that kind of told what they were and things like that let you know if one of them had wet paint or not. And um, they had little scenes worked out. They had the cavemen uh, uh, having a picnic next to the trash can and stuff like that. Um, they had a, a concrete mammoth, except uh, his trunk was like stuck down inside a stump. I'm, I'm not sure why. But um, yeah, that was, that was all part of it. That was in the land of Kong. The land of Kong. And uh, it still resonates with me today. <laughs> and uh, um, it was in that book. It was in that, that book. So that another exciting resource. But that's what we had to go by. We didn't have the internet. We couldn't Google map or anything and find all this stuff around. It went by that book. And then along the way, we might have seen something else and stopped. So you never can tell. One thing they did mention, and since we were so close to the border with Arkansas and Missouri was up north of it, and it's like, let's go to Missouri so we can say we went to Missouri. And uh, we didn't know anything about Branson. I, don't, I guess in 1988, Branson was probably already a, a thing to do, but uh, we didn't know that. <laughs> but we did know about this. We did know about this. Um, there was an attraction uh, just across the border, there's a big reservoir and all this. And uh, there was an attraction called Sammy Lane's Boat Tours. You talk about cool. Sammy Lane Boat Tours. And you go and you, they had a boat and you'd ride up and down the reservoir and see the scenery. And there'd be some rich, fancy houses and stuff like that. And everything is very nice, very pretty uh, country up there and everything. But... Sammy Lane's boat tours had the added attraction of a guaranteed pirate attack on every trip. So, okay. We put our adventure hats on. And, uh oh. And said, look. 
we're going to see if we get attacked by a pirate. So we did the tour and uh, you get on and it was a little tour boat. Uh, I think people you sat on the sides. Uh, I had a cover on it and everything. You go along and they say, oh yeah, you know, they did have a secret mission that we had to do while we we're on the tour though. So there was more to it than just taking a tour. We didn't realize we, what we were getting into till we heard that. Um, you're going along and they're like, oh yeah, that's Mr. So-and-so's house. He's the richest guy in the county. And this guy, his house fell in the water. And that, you know, and all this stuff like that. There's some people fishing, you know, oh wow. You know. So we were riding around looking at all the stuff. And we get to this place that's like, okay, folks, we gotta to turn around. But first we got a little quick job we need to take care of. Nobody told me I had to do some work. And so they, he pulls over and this guy comes out and gives him a little sack of gold, gold in a bag. It was a bag of gold. And he said, okay, all you gotta do, y'all take, if y'all can help me out, take this bag of gold and bring it back to the, the dock over there and they'll, they'll take care of it from there. So, <laughs> it's not like there's guaranteed pirate attacks or anything going on. So it's like, okay, we got the bag of gold. So we're going on, we get, turn around, we're going back uh, to the dock and all of a sudden, dun, 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 oh, look out everybody. What's that over there? It's a little, little bass boat coming at us with a pirate in it. <laughs> oh, look out. Now, we weren't defenseless. Our, our boat actually had a little cannon on it. I almost forgot about that. Our, our boat had a little cannon, so he... And he shoots the cannon and he missed. Oh, you know. Oh, it takes too long to reload. Oh, keep going. Let's floor it. Oh, and then, then the bass boat's coming. And uh, the guy... Pow! Pow! All of a sudden, water starts squirting up from the floor in the boat. And uh, the, the captain guy grabs some kid and he's like, put your foot on that kid. <laughs> Stop the water from flooding us. We're going to sink. Um, he's probably after this gold. Don't anybody say anything about the gold. <laughs> okay. Thanks, Captain. So we stop. And the pirate guy comes up and gets out of his bass boat and, and terrorizes us. And, you know, and he's... This is 1988, so uh, it, it, fashions are a little different then. Nowadays, every other guy has a big beard and stuff like that. You know, big you know, beard and long hair and all that. Back in 1988, it was kind of the opposite. Everybody's hair was kind of short for the most part, except for mullets. I think mullets were coming in back then. Anyway, so this guy gets on. He looks like he was from Woodstock or something. He's got his beard and everything. Arr, arr, you know, and he's terrorizing. Where's, where's the gold? Where's the gold? And uh, I don't remember what happened. Well, I don't think we gave it to him. Something happened. He got scared and left. <laughs> and it's like, okay, let's go back to the dock, everybody. And we got back and everybody was okay. And the floor stopped leaking. That was the other thing. The, the kid's foot, I don't know if his toe got stuck in it and it's still there or what. But um, Sammy Lane's Boat Tours. Ask for it by name. I don't think it's still in operation anymore. Maybe they have a new improved version of it or something. But in 1988, you could do that kind of stuff. And uh, nowadays, I don't know, everybody's so weird about stuff. Ooh, it scares me. Oh, I'm sensitive. Oh, it's a pirate. Ooh, you're talking bad about pirates. It's like, okay, whatever. But anyway, I wanted to you know, travel down history, history lane and uh, uh, share a few photos with you. Uh, tell you about the, uh, the Facebook page for Look That Channel. And hopefully if you can find it, if you can do the punch the friend button or something, maybe you'll be able to see something. I, I really have no idea. Uh, that way you can comment on it or something. And I'm going to get some of these old travel pictures on there. And uh, no telling what's going to come up. They'll be random. Sometimes there won't be too many. Sometimes there'll be a bunch. We were we we were taking pictures with film. It's called film. <laughs> it's not like when you have your camera and you got seventy thousand pictures on there because um, you never delete anything. It's like we had film cameras, and so you look at it. It's like 
Oh no, I only had a roll of 12 pictures and I've already used eight of them. I better be real choosy because I don't have any more film. So we didn't have a ton of pictures back then. And this was in 1988, it wasn't really that long ago for some of us. That was our, our, our trip down uh, memory lane, connecting Look That and Look That channel, Facebook page, and I don't know what else. But um, if, if you're interested, check out the Facebook page if you do that kind of thing. In the meantime, uh, keep watching Look That. We're doing great. Uh, I really appreciate everybody that's watching these things and going back and even watching some of the old ones. If you haven't subscribed, you can subscribe and you can enjoy the videos and uh, look at the face plant page, Facebook page and all that. We'll see what other adventures we have. And until then, I'll see you next time on Look Down.